Got some plywood down, got traction loss set up. Working on the wiring, gonna tuck everything away under the base and finish that off. Have to finish up the pedal box, that's still from the old setup. Still have to mount the seat properly. I'm just using C-clamps right now. Eventually all the wiring will be mounted in the bottom. TV will be mounted on the wall. The PC will be put under the base as well, all in one. And I do use VR, but lately we've just been using the screen. It's a lot of fun. Here's the uh, motor one. Set motor two. Got the world's worst mouse right now, so. <laughs> and then motor three for traction loss. It's not perfect. It's got equal travel though and nothing binds up. So for right now, this is what it's gonna be. It's actually plenty of traction loss. <clears throat> I was originally wanting more in my view, but after being in it, I think this is more than enough. Handbrake, cheap eBay handbrake, touch pad. Still have to mount the dash. I have a dashboard that I have to mount up that's got a key start for ignition and a bunch of buttons, <clears throat> button box, and the emergency stop, which I still have to mount. That'll be wired in. And then the Logitech, Logitech shifter. So it's coming together. I would say it's functionally done. Just have to mount the final bits. I learned how to weld doing all of this, so it's is all kind of new, new realm for me. So I'm taking my time and making sure everything's the way I like it. But I think it's going to finish off real good. Any ideas on a back box that'll help kind of support or not support but protect the mechanism? Thinking about. Something coming up over the top here. Still allowing it to move, but people can't get in there. So make it functional, but safe also, because a lot of random people down here like to beat on it. I don't want to lose an ankle. <clears throat>